Hi, I'm Randy Reed. It's Today in Lighting, Monday, 11 September, and I hope you had a nice weekend. We're sponsored by How Cold Lighting, where they strive to be your first choice as a lighting technology partner. Transportation planner Frank Markowitz and nighttime lighting design expert Lenny Schwindiger have co-authored an article in the September 2023 ITE Journal on pedestrian lighting. The article highlights the increased nighttime pedestrian fatality risk and emphasizes well-designed lighting as a proven safety measure. We link to the article at edisonreport.com. Lutron recently celebrated the 21st annual Lutron Excellence Awards honoring outstanding projects that utilize Lutron's lighting and shading control solutions. Andy Davies, Mac Wells Commercial Director, discusses the recent global phase out of fluorescent lamps. The article written by Ray Maloney highlights the benefits of more efficient alternatives like LED and addresses the implications for emergency lighting full article at designinglightingglobal.com. Women in Lighting Plus Design is hosting a reception on 18 September, 6 p.m. at the Dallas Market Center. This will kick off the Arclight Summit. Registration is necessary. Details at designinglighting.com. And Qtran has launched Perry, the smallest integral driver perimeter fixture. It offers customizable lighting options, easy installation, delivering over 1,000 lumens per foot of illumination with a CRI of 90 plus. On Friday, the Dow was up 75 points. NASDAQ gained 12 points, but Signify dropped a little over 1%. That's it. Go light up the world. Have a great week. Pray for peace.